In this tutorial, we show you how you can customize your programming environments in Eclipse. So I would like to just uh, draw your attention to some concept over here. So what we have seen so far for developing the Java classes and to execute the Java code. So this is the so-called Java perspective. If you look at your Eclipse and move your mouse over the top right corner over there, it shows Java over here. You can see the arrow over here and there's a J over there. Later on, we're going to show you another perspective, which is called debugging perspective. So these two perspectives perspective will be very crucial for you to switch between in order to develop correct code uh, for your course. Okay, so now let's only focus on Java perspective for this current video. So now conceptually, and then I'll talk about concept first, and then I'll come back and tell you how you can customize it. I'll show you one way to do it. You can definitely customize according to your personal preference. Okay, so now, so we talk about uh, something called Java perspective. Okay, which means if you're currently in this perspective, that means you're trying to develop your code. Okay, so now how can you organize it? So my personal preference is, uh, is as follows. So on the left over here, you actually got uh, two panels over here. So one is called Package Explorer and another one is called Outline View. Okay, so the package explorer is for you to display all the projects that's currently that have been currently imported into your workspace. Uh, in our case, we have only got the lab uh, lab zero part one. Of course, you can keep importing more pro more and more projects and adding more and more uh, new projects as possible. So the uh, package explorer will be will be a very useful way to actually say under this project over here under the source and under whatever package it is. So these are the classes we have. Okay, of course, if you double click on the class name over here, it's going to bring you that, that, uh, to that particular class. We have seen the uh, package explorer view quite often uh, so far. Okay, another one I would like to show you is the so-called outline view over here. So that means if, for example, if I double click, let's say I'm currently in the package explorer view, and then I double click on one of the classes on the source, and then it shows to me this particular tab, for example. Let's say currently it is displaying the contents of the class over here. Now, when we uh, get to write in a more and more complicated code, the class, uh, one class itself, might be complicated for you to explore. So you don't want to just uh, use the uh, scroll bar to scroll up and down. So what you really want to do is to use an outline view, which will show you everything that you have developed in the class in a structural way. As we uh, go on with the course, we actually have to define not just the main method, but maybe uh, many, many methods in your class and many, many uh, other variables in your class, in which case you really want to have the outline view over there to really help you uh, explore your particular class. Okay, we'll see outline view as well. Okay, as we talk about over here, we also got uh, different tabs for all the classes that are actually open. And one thing to really emphasize again, you should always uh, pay attention to if you happen to have a cross mark over here in, in any of the uh, uh, open tab for the classes, that simply means your class has errors for syntax, in which case you must fix immediately. Okay, that's one thing to know. And another thing to note, if you happen to have like a star uh, in a dark color, in this case, that means this particular class has not been saved. For example, you can see, uh, let me illustrate to you. Okay, so now for example, if I try to uh, I open this class already, if I just hit enter, which means I make some changes. Okay, in that case, you can see before I hit uh, Control S to save, you can see there's a uh, star over here that simply means my current class is not saved. So in order for you to really run the code, you must save it. I can say Control S. So that's how I save it. Okay, that's one thing. And what about the red cross over here? For example, if I accidentally deleted the semicolon, which we we emphasize to say you have a sequential composition of statements, in which case you have an assignment statements over here, but without a semicolon. In that case, it's, a, it's an error. In this case, you will see that not only that you have a red cross around the tab over here, but also you also have a uh, red cross over here in the corresponding class in the package explorer view. You can see that over here, right? And also you can see exactly which line actually has uh, has the error and also which column actually got the error, okay? So these are the, really the things you have to pay attention to, okay? So pay attention to unsaved class and also pay attention to any class that has error, 
Okay, it's really important for you, and that's your sole responsibility as a programmer. Okay, so now let's go on. Uh, two more tabs to talk about, and also we got. Another tab called problems, which means every time if you got any errors uh, in your code, uh, Java uh, Eclipse is going to tell you what they are. And sometimes, very often, they also suggest some fixes for you. For example, let's say if I actually currently got the error over here without a semicolon, if I go to the problems tab over here, it shows me to be errors. If you double click on that, uh, if you uh, if you expand it, it tells you a syntax error. Insert semicolon to complete the statements. That's exactly what we have uh, illustrated. Okay, if you double click on that, okay, double click on the error itself. It's going to bring you to exactly where the error occurs. So don't be terrified by looking into the problems. Always, you really have to fix the problems when you have one and fix them. Okay, that would be uh, the attitude for a responsible programmer. Okay, so that's about the. Uh, problems tab and one more thing is about the console which we also have seen so far so console simply means if i try to right click on this particular class let's say they have no errors okay let's assume that all the errors have gone away if i run it as java application and then it's going to display something in the console over here okay so that means uh, we're just printing something to the console so console is also a very uh, important tab to really have Okay, so now these are uh, this is the uh, this is kind of the layout for the Java perspective. Of course, you can add more tabs to it. I will let you explore by your uh, on your own. It's completely up to your personal preference. But let me show you how you can do it. Okay, it's very easy to operate. So now you can see at the moment we do have. Uh, let's focus on this. We have problems over here, and for Java doc is for documentation, which we may not cover too much in this course. So I will close it. And also we got decoration over here. I can also close it. Okay. So now I only got problems and console. Okay. So what if maybe you prefer to have console on the left and problems on the right? You can simply hold your mouse on the problems and drag it to the right. Okay. That's how you can switch it. Okay. It's very easy to operate. Let me just close this. Uh, actually, before I do that, let me double click and fix the error. Okay. I'll put the semicolon back. Okay. So now let me close it. So now I have no errors. And you can see that over here, the task list uh, is actually something you can try, but uh, I just wouldn't include it in this current video. Okay, I'll close it. And now, how can I put the outline uh, together with Package Explorer? Okay, there's something you gotta practice. Left click on outline over here and then hold your mouse and move, okay, move all the way to uh, just around here, you can see there's a vertical line over there, right be beside the package explorer, and drop. Okay, drag and drop basically. Okay, so now you can see the outline in the package explorer. Now, if you click on, for example, num numerical expressions, okay, this is the current class that's being uh, developed. And if you go to outline view, you can see uh, it shows you this is the current class we are talking about. And if you click on this, it is that's the main method. Currently, we only have one single method. But later on, as we move on with the course, you have many, many methods in your class, in which case it's very easy to say, I click on the link for the method, you bring you to where they are in the editor view. Okay, okay, that's about it. And uh, let me see anything else. Okay, that's about the views. Now, let's say if accidentally, very common if you lose the package explorer let's say accidentally you just don't have it how can i bring it back very easy you simply go to window and go to show view and these are all the tabs that you can add to your uh your java perspective okay it's completely up to you which one you want to add but for now i just want to add it okay you got console here for example you also got outline you also got package explorer you got problems and uh, many other things Okay. Now, let's say in case for your version of Eclipse, you don't see the package explorer. You can simply click on other, and then you can simply type over here. Okay, you can say package. Okay, now you will see package explorer. Okay, and then I can I can say open. Okay, now it's it's brought back. Okay, of course, if you want to display package explorer to the right, you can left click, hold it, and then drag it to the right of outline. Okay, it's completely up to you. Or I can switch it back. Okay, it's very easy to operate. And again, this is a Java perspective that you really want to have a personal 
uh, style so that it's uh, the, the working environment that you're really comfortable with. And I do encourage you to actually go to window and show view and see what's available over there. You can feel free to actually add more if you feel comfortable. But I would say this, uh, uh, what I have presented to you in this video is really the minimum that you really have in your perspective for the Java.